What's up, Soul Nation? Ginger Prime here, and a little bit of FIFA controversy kicking off the week here on Monday with some gaming news. Now, I do feel for FIFA players, it looks like that there is some real problems, especially with the Switch version, and we're going to cover it in this video. But honestly, there's a real part of me that feels like maybe FIFA and EA messing up FIFA could be good for gamers as a whole, and we'll go ahead and cover that now. Thanks to WW3000 for posting this fantastic meme, FIFA 19, the year 2020. Oh my goodness, FIFA 20, I'm a brand new game. Anyway, that is essentially what's happened. We're gonna jump into the FIFA Legacy Edition for Switch, the Metacritic score, and the critical score is phenomenal here. This is a really good backlash to what has happened. You can see here a 0.3 user score for this. Now, I did see that we had one person <laughs> rating it 10. All right, I'm glad you like it. But essentially what happened is, is they, they just put out a new roster and they're charging $60 for it. This is games as a service gone completely cock a doodle doo wacko. And you might have an opinion on games as a service, but this is what they're doing. They're, they've made it, they've printed it. And essentially the Amazon listing here spells it out pretty clear, even though EA is somewhat admitting it here. EA Sports FIFA 20 Legacy Edition features the latest kits, clubs, and squads from the top leagues around the world. Same gameplay innovation for FIFA 19 without any new development or significant enhancements. And finally, why this really got started is you had the hashtag fixed career mode trending on Twitter. What's really fascinating about this and where this all comes to mind here is what is there an excuse here, especially for Anthem? A lot of the people over at Bioware, a lot of people with Anthem, they were saying like, yeah, like they, the engine, uh, they got the developers had to get pulled over for FIFA work and so they were running and having issues. Obviously that seems more <laughs> of a lie than anything else. Nowadays, not just because of the issues that FIFA 20 is facing, not just because of the issues with career mode and more, are that they're facing just because obviously I think the leadership issues within Bioware are more critical than ever. But anyway, I'm going to include a link in the description to these different like things that I'm including. We got Eurogamer.net articles really kind of talking about it. They go through a lot of details. It seems like a lot of people are really frustrated with FIFA. But ultimately what this video is about is EA and the lies they tell us. Because when you think about it, one of the things that a lot of people get frustrated over, we're seeing it with Activision, we're seeing it with uh, many, uh, you know, just different creators, different over-aggressive monetization and more. Why has that come to be? And obviously EA, Activision uh, and 2K right now, I think are on the top of the kind of the really frustrated gamers list. But people love FIFA. They love Madden. There's a huge swath of gamers out there that ultimately negate any one individual or group of individual gamers who are mad at EA or Activision or 2K who are not purchasing those games. And you can see it with the sheer numbers. When you look at the sheer numbers when it comes down to monetization in the gaming industry, there's no comparison. Why would somebody listen to $5 when they're making $800 million on FIFA? However, that's why I'm saying that this could ultimately be a good thing overall for gaming culture, assuming that it upsets enough FIFA players and more. Now, I've always been frustrated at the exclusivity deals that EA's locked down with football, with soccer, with more. And I would love to see that, that whole monopoly broken up and allowed for more competition within these type of games. I have long been a fan of, uh, especially baseball games, but beyond just the, the default sports games, I've always just wished for more. I think there's definitely been really good uh, gameplay innovations when these companies are forced to compete. And ultimately, at the end of the day, despite how you feel about games as a service, I have long thought that FIFA, Madden, all of those games should be games as a service games, where essentially they could then sell you kind of seasons, free to play, jump right in, play it, because ultimately every five years, that's actually when they get a new engine. Ultimately, every five to seven years, that's kind of when they have those really groundbreaking movements. And it's every five years or so that they have those big groundbreaking, you know, just like innovations and changes. And so ultimately, <laughs> I think about it, I go, I wish that they would just go into that kind of that free to play and then kind of that seasonal battle pass style, because 
that I feel like is almost the most fair thing for all, you know, everybody who is a fan of these series because they're automatically already doing that and they're just charging people 60 to to $100 a year for the privilege and then every five or six years they kind of do it again. These things print money and unless the people who pay them, and the, unless the people who are actively engaged in those economies who aren't necessarily actively engaged with overall gaming as a whole, you can be just kind of a one note gamer and that's perfectly fine. But unless they really get upset and unless that money dries up, Honestly, it kind of feels like we're all kind of just out here hoping. So I, I personally am not rooting for anybody to be like, especially who loves this game to kind of have a bad experience. But if EA goes like out of their way to kind of make that a bad experience and the and overall the industry improves, I'm not going to be complaining either way. It's a complex idea. <laughs> and like always, I'd love to know your thoughts, especially about this. Like, what do you think will change? Uh, <laughs> if anything, obviously it looks like the FIFA is going to be trying to fix a lot of the issues, kind of fix the bugs with the, with the like FIFA ultimate team, the career mode and more. But at the end of the day, the switch thing is just appalling, such a reskin. And that's pretty much what this is all about. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, I hope you hit that subscribe button and join the soul nation and <laughs> for Ginger prime. My name is Brian. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. This works. Oh. But you look just the same. We're all our efforts for nothing. <gasps> no need to worry on that front. I can feel the old magic zing.